Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. Many of you ask me if your vehicle requires, guys, that special refrigerant that is known as R1234YF. If you can use a regular refrigerant, guys, stay with us and we're going to cover all that today. We will demonstrate on this Dodge, Dodge Chrysler, guys, even other vehicles, uh, they like using that uh, new stuff, guys, and it will be getting even more popular. So stay with us and we'll explain what we found out, guys, and what we use here at the shop. Now, quick introduction, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 videos guys we take it completely apart we show you how to fix things why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing uh, these videos and free information all the parts guys and tools that we use okay and that we will demonstrate in the video you can find the links in the description of the video below so let me leave it here guys and i'm going to explain something quick now here okay and to know what we are doing so this dodge guy right here guys if you look at the hood the label for the ac okay you can see that it requires that uh, special stuff that's known as r1234yf okay this is that special refrigerant guys now bad news guys okay first it's very expensive second guys you need a special uh, special um, gauge to uh, actually put it in the car because you cannot use the one from r134a if you need to buy some original stuff guys we'll have the link in the description of the video below and you can compare the prices so check it out now i will always recommend to go with the original refrigerant that is required by your manufacturer guys because otherwise first you can avoid warranty second you can always damage something but what we use here at the shop guys i did some research and people said that the two okay the two refrigerants cannot mix but if you have your system your ac system vacuumed guys and you remove uh, all of the freon from that r1234yf you can actually use the r134a and i didn't believe that until a few years ago when i actually did it myself and with the help of that adapter guys you can uh, actually use the r134a which is pretty convenient because r134a guys uh, uses a smaller okay a smaller plug okay than the original r1234yf and if i try to connect that uh, okay that one right here okay let me show you now if i try to okay let's come down a little bit more okay okay perfect just like that if i try to connect this one it's not going to go guys so what i need to do in that case okay i need to get that adapter that special adapter where we have the link in the description of the video below and if your system is completely empty but make sure you stay until the end i'll discuss more about that you can add r134a according to most of the people and i've done it myself and this car right now has been running that for a long time with no problems and with the help of that adapter i can connect my r134a okay and we can even check the pressure check it out now so you can see guys definitely okay definitely a working solution now what people say the the two do not mix so if you go to a shop and have your system vacuumed guys okay and they need to pump uh, pump that thing out pump that uh, refrigerant out you need to let them know that you have actually r134a so they don't contaminate the other one because otherwise they will not be able to reuse it so uh, the two do not mix uh, you have to have only one of a kind but i still okay recommend to go the original way even though we've tested it and we've been using it for more than two years with no problems but i definitely guys recommend to use the original stuff we'll have the links for the adapter r134a and the r1234yf in the description of the video below for your convenience so please check it out guys thank you for watching and see you guys next time